there. It's coming with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with Jazz. What's going? With the M15. This is our Sunday brew session with M15. And Jazz has picked a card. Just let it go ahead and explain it. I picked the Goblin Rabble Master uh, just because it looked like a fun card to brew with. So I went with a straight goblin base deck. Only goblin I didn't use. Only thing that's not a goblin. I use Young Pyromancer. Two of it's pretty solid. Gives me gives me interactions with Perforos here. So I'll start with my one drops. Uh, I got Foundry Denizen and the Legion Loyalist. So Foundry Denizen, phenomenal, phenomenal works. Uh, and then the Legion Loyalist. Everything with Goblin Round Master is going to be attacking every turn anyway. So I'm going to get the Legion effect or the Battalion effect anyway. So that's, that's great. Uh, two of the Dana Charge. Uh, aggro. It's going to give me. It's going to give. I'll, I'll see value there. Uh, removal, basic removal. I just have magma jets, lightning strikes, uh, stoke the flames, filter convoke. Really easy to cost. Uh, I have two goblin rallies. Uh, just more goblins. Gonna be really simple to use. Really, really effective. Uh, I'm using the hollow triumphs and obelisk urge just to put a little boost up to my creatures. Three of the perforos. Uh, I think it's a great, great tool here. Gonna be phenomenal. I'm using mutavolt as well, just for. They're gonna, they'll, they'll act as goblins as well. So that's an upside. Um, I, I'm a, one of the Pyrewild Shaman. I can use it as a, a bump for a creature, and most of the time I'll get it back. Easy, easy stuff. Um, my Goblin Short Cutters, target creature can't block when I just build. It's gonna be great for just spot evasion. So I think that's what I mean. Board. Yeah, pretty solid deck. I like it a lot. It's got a nice little curve here. One, two, into three, into your Goblin Rabble Master. You're going to try to put a lot of pressure. And then they have to kill this Goblin Rabble Master. Otherwise, it's going to be creating a ton of tokens. And then the good thing about Goblin Rabble Master, it is not legendary. So you can have multiple of these out. And multiple tokens per turn equals multiple activations or triggers from Perveros, which is going to add some more pressure, as well as... Yeah, just having burn slash removal, that's that's why you play red. Because lightning strike can act as actual creature removal or three to the face if you need it to be. Really a big fan of this is Stoke the Flames. I think it's going to see a lot of play. And it we did see some inclusions of this in the white-red burn deck in uh, Kansas City Star City Open. So we do know that this card is powerful enough to hit standard. I do like the Goblin Rallies here because you can go fourth turn Perforos and then fifth turn Goblin Rally for a whopping eight damage and still have four goblin tokens on the battlefield. So again, yeah, the, the, I think the young pyromancer does have merit in here because we do have we have 12, 13, 14 spells and it's just a nice little two drop. A 2 1 2 drop that can actually pump out more tokens is pretty solid. So let's go on to your sideboard here. Okay, so uh to start with uh what uh Kevin was referring to as flavor. I have twin flame. I can copy Really, whatever what I'm thinking, it's probably going to end up being Goblin Rabble Master if I end up using it. But uh, just for flavor, and then five alarm, five alarm fire. Uh, five or more creatures attack. I get a counter on it. Row five, do do five. I mean, yeah, I made him include these two. This one has a goblin on it, and you're attacking with tons of goblins, so you have to put it in. That's going to be for flavor points. We're going to see if we can get that off. Uh, and then Twin Flame again for flavor points. I want to see a Goblin Rabble Master copied. So each one of these decks I'm going to try to have a little bit of flavor in. Uh, yep, so yep, Burning burning Earth, I guess. Just it's What I really saw Burning Earth shine was last standard rotation when the mana base was incredibly greedy. Uh, there's very few basic lands being played at the rotation of Innistrad, uh, I guess the Theros Innistrad blocks. And then we saw Burning Earth go away as the mana base kind of went to a lot of devotion-based decks. But now we're back into a time where the mana base is extremely greedy. Even, even in like mono black with them using Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, that's going to be another. If they're like into black green, they're going to use four land or a waste for uh, of the Overgrown Tombs and four of the Temple of whatever the green Malady. Yeah, Malady. So even, even in that, like Burning Earth is good to come in if it's going to hit 20 of their lands in, in mono black. So... Definitely think it has its merit in the sideboard. Yeah, what Stormbird Dragons in there from the white matchups? Yeah, this is a solid, solid anti-white white card. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with a Stormbird Dragon here. I think uh, some more removal, two more Goblin Rallies, a couple more Dino Charges for, and a Piling Needle just for whatever until like not letting happen. Other aggro decks, I think, is where Dino Charge comes in. You just want to try to race Goblin Rally. Probably come in versus Control, as again Perforos and Goblin Rally 
must be a nightmare for a control deck to kind of deal with that late game if they've had to waste all their early removal and spells on dealing with the er on all these early drops. So really like this deck. I think it's a really cool deck. So yeah, definitely, again, this is open to anyone in the public. We're going to be doing this on Sunday here at the store, but I definitely will be opening this up to all of you YouTubers to actually create a deck. This is going to be video only though. We are going to be doing Rogue Deck of the Month competition coming up soon again, and this time I will hold it. Uh, I'll tell you about that. Uh, shortly, I'll be doing a huge announcement of all the, all the upcoming changes to the channel. But until then, if you have the ability to produce a video in a deck tech like we've done, uh, you can send me a video via Dropbox. I, I can show you how to do that. Just email me and I'll tell you how to get that video to me. And I'll be able to throw it up on the website and on the YouTube channel. And again, so most of these are going to be brewing with the latest set. Right now we are in M15. When Cons comes out, of course, that will, we'll do a, a Cons of Tarkir session as well. But we're going to try to do these every Sunday. Anyway, anything else you want to say about the deck? Nope. I'm excited to play it. See what happens. Alrighty. Yep. We're going to play. There's three of us here today on a Sunday afternoon. We're actually going to play our decks against each other. It's been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.